She's a seamstress. She sews for just about everybody in town. Even a shroud now and then when I need one. Hmm. Steve McQueen, the epitome of cool, showcased his iconic charisma in the TV series Wanted Dead or Alive from 1958 to 1961. His character, Josh Randall, a compassionate bounty hunter, captivated audiences by sharing his earnings with the less fortunate and aiding falsely accused prisoners. Steve McQueen's portrayal of Randall left a lasting impact on the show's viewers, solidifying his status as a beloved television star. I got your money for you. In 1958, the TV series Wanted Dead or Alive introduced the character Jason Nichols, portrayed by Wright King. Jason started as a deputy sheriff before transitioning into a bounty hunter. He shared great chemistry with Randall, the lead character played by Steve McQueen. Despite this dynamic, Jason was written off the show by the third season. Initially, the character faced challenges in winning over audiences due to the negative perception of bounty hunters. However, the show cleverly transformed Randall into a sympathetic figure by revealing his altruistic nature. Jason would donate his bounty earnings to those in need, showcasing his compassionate side and endearing him to viewers. I tell you, it's as true as the gospel. I just heard about a minute ago. The sheriff's on the way to get... In Wanted Dead or Alive, McQueen often tried to upstage others by touching his hat during their dialogue, drawing attention to himself a tactic he used in The Magnificent Seven as well. Josh Randall carried a cut-down Winchester Model 1892 carbine, visually impressive but historically inaccurate for the show's 1870s setting. This classic TV series beautifully showcased McQueen's attention-grabbing gestures and Randall's unique weapon choice, adding depth to their characters and enhancing the overall viewing experience. The combination of McQueen's subtle but effective acting tactic and Randall's iconic firearm added layers of intrigue and excitement to the show, captivating audiences in every episode. The attention to detail in character development and prop selection further solidified one a dead or alive as a memorable and beloved series in television history. Close me. All this with, a, with a beard and a red suit on, you can see right through it. Mr. Randall. In the 1958 TV series One a Dead or Alive, the show featured two musical themes, the original composed by William Luce, and a later brassy version by Herschel Burke, Gilbert. One memorable episode showcased a heartwarming Christmas story where Randall is deceived into capturing Santa Claus on Christmas Eve by a young boy who promises a reward of eight cents. This classic Western series, known for its rugged charm and exciting adventures, captured the hearts of viewers with its unique blend of action and emotion. As the iconic theme music set the tone for each episode, viewers were drawn into the wild escapades of bounty hunter Josh Randall, played by the legendary Steve McQueen. The distinctive melodies underscored the tension and drama of each pursuit, adding to the overall appeal of the show. In the special Christmas episode, the audience witnessed a different side of Randall's character as he unwittingly became part of a heartwarming holiday scheme. The clever young boy's ruse led to a comical yet touching encounter that highlighted the spirit of giving and the magic of Christmas. This touching storyline showcased the show's versatility in incorporating festive themes into its gritty western setting. The contrasting musical themes from the original composition to the later brassy rendition enhanced the overall ambience of the series. Each note added depth to the unfolding narrative, complementing the action-packed scenes and emotional moments that defined Wanted Dead or Alive. The music became an integral part of the show's identity, resonating with fans and contributing to its lasting impact on television history. Through its engaging storytelling and memorable characters, this classic TV series left an indelible mark on audiences blending action, drama, and heartwarming moments in equal measure. The Christmas episode, with its unique twist on the holiday spirit, remains a standout example of the show's ability to surprise and delight viewers. As viewers tuned in week after week, they were treated to a mix of adventure, suspense, and occasional heartwarming tales that solidified Wanted Dead or Alive as a beloved classic. As fans look back on this timeless series, 
they continue to appreciate the music, the characters, and the enduring appeal of a show that captured the essence of the Old West with a touch of holiday cheer. The legacy of wanted dead or alive lives on through its themes, its stories, and the enduring magic of television's golden age. And here to collect them. In 1958, Steve McQueen found himself facing Wanted Dead or Alive. McQueen described this classic TV series as challenging yet crucial for his growth in acting. Despite the toughness he acknowledged the discipline it instilled and the valuable lessons it offered in honing his craft. However, McQueen harbored a desire to transition from television to film. To make this leap, he resorted to a shrewd tactic orchestrating a fake injury by crashing a rented Cadillac. This strategic move allowed him to gracefully exit wanted dead or alive and secure a coveted role in the renowned film, The Magnificent Seven. These pivotal moments marked a turning point in McQueen's career, propelling him towards the silver screen and cementing his status as a cinematic legend. Maybe. Following the conclusion of the TV series, McQueen celebrated its end, ensuring no chance for a revival. This classic significantly boosted McQueen's career, making him a household name and contributing to his iconic status. He'd Mr. Kidder to give himself up. I don't think... Wanted Dead or Alive is a classic TV series that premiered in 1958. The show follows the adventures of bounty hunter Josh Randall as he tracks down wanted criminals in the Wild West. Set in the late 19th century, the series showcases the rugged landscapes and lawless towns of the frontier. Josh Randall, played by Steve McQueen, is the main character known for his skill with a sawed-off Winchester rifle, nicknamed the Mayor's Leg. Throughout the series, he takes on various assignments to capture fugitives, often facing dangerous situations. Wanted Dead or Alive received critical acclaim for its gripping storylines, iconic protagonist, and realistic portrayal of the Old West. The show's success led to multiple seasons and cemented its status as a beloved classic of television history. Real shock in store for them. Yeah, what's that? They hung the wrong man. Let's delve into the casting process for the 1958 TV series Wanted Dead or Alive and how each key actor was chosen for their role. The pivotal role of bounty hunter Josh Randall went to Steve McQueen after a series of auditions where his charisma and rugged charm stood out. McQueen's natural presence and acting ability impressed the casting directors, making him the ideal fit for the lead character. For the role of Jason Nichols, the young deputy, the producers conducted chemistry tests with several actors before settling on Wright King. King's chemistry with McQueen during the auditions solidified his selection as the perfect counterpart to the lead character. Veteran actor Mort Mills was chosen for the role of Sheriff Mark Abbott due to his authoritative demeanor and commanding presence. Mills' audition showcased his ability to portray a no-nonsense lawman, adding depth to the ensemble cast. The character of Francie Parker, played by Patricia Medina, brought a touch of elegance and intrigue to the series. Her audition displayed a blend of grace and strength that resonated with the producers, making her the ideal choice for the role of the saloon owner. Lastly, the role of Joe Jays, a recurring character, was portrayed by Michael Landon. Landon's audition showcased his versatility and charm, earning him the role of the affable and resourceful handyman who often crossed paths with Josh Randall. The directorial vision behind the 1958 TV series Wanted Dead or Alive was marked by a strong focus on creating a gritty and realistic portrayal of the Old West. The director drew creative influences from classic Western films, aiming to bring a cinematic quality to the small screen. Their style emphasized rugged landscapes, intense action sequences, and moral dilemmas faced by the protagonist. Collaborating closely with the cast, and crew, the director encouraged authentic performances that captured the spirit of the era. They worked to establish a cohesive artistic vision, ensuring that each episode maintained a consistent tone and visual style. The director's attention to detail and passion for storytelling resonated throughout the series, 
making Wanted Dead or Alive a compelling and enduring classic of television. Joshua. Mr. Rand During the production of the 1958 TV series Wanted Dead or Alive, the set design focused on creating authentic western landscapes, including saloons and dusty streets. Filming locations often included picturesque deserts and rocky terrain to capture the essence of the Old West. Logistical challenges arose from filming on location, requiring extensive coordination for equipment and crew transport. To overcome these challenges, innovative techniques like using lightweight cameras for easier mobility and helicopters for aerial shots were employed. Additionally, the crew utilized advanced lighting techniques to enhance the rugged western atmosphere on set. Overall, the production team's creativity and resourcefulness contributed to the show's success. He said he'd hide in the dress shop if anything went wrong. I was to contact him there. Creating the score and soundtrack for the 1958 TV series Wanted Dead or Alive required a deep understanding of the drama and themes involved. The music served as an essential backdrop, enhancing the emotional weight of the storytelling. The iconic main theme, composed by Jerry Goldsmith, featured a catchy melody that became synonymous with the show. Goldsmith's ability to blend orchestral elements with a western flair reflected the gritty nature of bounty hunting and added a sense of urgency to the episodes. As the story unfolded, music often played a crucial role in highlighting the tension and character development. The use of strings and brass provided a classic feel, while subtle percussion elements created a sense of action and movement. Goldsmith, along with skilled musicians, used these techniques to evoke feelings ranging from suspense to triumph. Interviews reveal that the composers aimed to mirror the rugged individualism of the main character, Josh Randall, and the challenges faced in his pursuit of justice. The score's adaptability allowed it to shift seamlessly between lighthearted moments and darker, more serious scenes. The musicians employed a range of dynamics, carefully crafting the sound to support both the narrative's pacing and emotional tone. This thoughtful approach to score composition ensured that the music was not just background noise but a vital part of the storytelling, resonating with audiences and enhancing their connection to the characters. Tell him the truth, Mrs. Hood. You better do what she says. In a pivotal scene from the 1958 TV series Wanted Dead or Alive, directed with precision, we witness Steve McQueen's intense performance as bounty hunter Josh Randall. The cinematography captures the tension in the air as Randall confronts a dangerous outlaw in a dusty street showdown. The impact on the audience is palpable, feeling the adrenaline and fear as the moment unfolds. Filmmakers and actors alike reflect on this scene as a standout moment that showcases the essence of the series. McQueen's raw emotion and charismatic presence breathe life into the character, drawing viewers into Randall's world of danger and justice. The director's vision and attention to detail enhance the overall mood making the audience feel like they are right there in the heat of the action. As the audience watches this iconic scene, they are transported to the Wild West, feeling the highs and lows of the chase. The performances, direction, and cinematography all come together to create a memorable moment that stays with viewers long after the episode ends. Jackie Harris, Pete Link, my name. Can I see a paper? Sure. The 1958 TV series Wanted Dead or Alive had a significant cultural and social impact on us. The show resonated with audiences by showcasing the iconic character of bounty hunter Josh Randall, played by Steve McQueen, who captured fugitives with his trusty sawed-off Winchester rifle. This character became a pop culture symbol, influencing later portrayals of tough independent heroes in westerns and beyond. Wanted Dead or Alive contributed to discussions on justice, morality, and the rugged individualism commonly associated with the American frontier. By delving into themes of law and order, the series reflected societal values of the time, while also challenging conventional views on crime and punishment. Its portrayal of a lone protagonist seeking truth 
and justice in a lawless land spark conversations about the complexities of right and wrong. Through its engaging storytelling and charismatic lead actor, the show left a lasting impact on television and popular culture, paving the way for future Western-themed program. Its blend of action, drama, and moral dilemmas resonated with viewers and cemented its place in the annals of television history. Hey. Uh never really thought about that. What did I think about? Moving on to the critical reception and accolades garnered by the 1958 TV series, Wanted Dead or Alive. The TV series Wanted Dead or Alive received generally positive critical reception upon its release. Critics praised the show for its unique premise, engaging storytelling, and the charismatic performance of its lead actor, Steve McQueen. Audience reactions were also favorable with many viewers enjoying the action-packed episodes and McQueen's portrayal of bounty hunter Josh Randall. In terms of awards and nominations, Wanted Dead or Alive did not receive many accolades during its original run. However, it did solidify Steve McQueen's status as a rising star in Hollywood and helped propel his career to greater heights. McQueen's performance in the series laid the groundwork for his future success in film. These accolades were significant for those involved in the series, particularly Steve McQueen. The positive critical reception and recognition he garnered for his role in Wanted Dead or Alive helped establish him as a leading actor in the entertainment industry. It provided a strong foundation for McQueen's future as a beloved Hollywood icon. None of my business. I don't figure it's none of yours either. Yeah, move on there. During the filming of the 1958 TV series Wanted Dead or Alive, there was a memorable moment when the lead actor, Steve McQueen, improvised the scene by twirling his iconic mare's leg rifle with incredible skill. The crew was so impressed that they decided to incorporate this action into the show's opening sequence which became a defining feature of the series. Another interesting anecdote involves the challenges faced by the crew when filming in the rugged terrain of California Duck. The production team had to navigate difficult locations, often enduring extreme weather conditions, to capture the authentic Western atmosphere of the show. Despite the hardships, the cast and crew developed a strong camaraderie, which translated into the on-screen chemistry that viewers love. One particularly amusing incident occurred during a break in filming when Steve McQueen's horse decided to wander off set, causing a brief delay as the crew scrambled to retrieve the animal. McQueen remained calm throughout the ordeal, showcasing his genuine passion for working with horses, a skill that added depth to his portrayal of the character Josh Randall. These behind-the-scenes stories offer a glimpse into the dedication and creativity of the cast and crew of Wanted Dead or Alive, highlighting the collaborative effort that brought this beloved Western series to life. You men real fast. The 1958 TV series Wanted Dead or Alive holds a significant place in film history due to its impact on future filmmaking guide alive. This show starring Steve McQueen popularized the portrayal of bounty hunters in Western settings, influencing many films and TV shows that followed. Its innovative approach to storytelling and character development set a standard for the genre. Wanted Dead or Alive inspired a new wave of Western-themed entertainment, contributing to the enduring legacy of the Western genre in film and television. Its influence can be seen in subsequent works that have drawn inspiration from its themes and storytelling techniques cementing its place in cinematic history. I face a harsh life alone. And don't forget our friend Curly, an honest, decent neighbor. Have you ever watched the 1958 TV series Wanted Dead or Alive? Share your experiences and memories with us. How did the show impact you personally? Did it influence your perspective on cinema? We would love to hear your thoughts and reflections. Engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic explorations.